So let's take a look at how you can create nested components in React.js. You can use desktop setup for running this example, or you can run this example in code sandbox, or let's say something like stack blitz. Okay, so in order to use code sandbox, simply create a sandbox and then click on React project. It would take some time, and once loaded, you will have one demo project like this. You can hide this left hand sidebar because it only shows the files available in the project and dependency. Okay, for this example, we are not going to take a look at that. Okay, so on the right hand side, you can see this is the browser. You can hide this browser for now and take a look at the code. Now here, by default, you already have one function that displays some message. Okay, I'm going to replace this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one class named app and then use extends keyword with react component. Okay, and here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call for render method then inside that return method that basically takes a div and that div will have one simple h1 component. Okay, so let's see first component and let's close this. You can use a semicolon or you can exclude that. Considering code sandbox can take care of those small things, you can ignore that. Now you have your first component. You can check your first component in the browser. It says first component. Now I want to create a second component. So let me use. Let's name this header, okay, and it extends React component, okay. And I'm gonna do the same with render, and then we have return. Within return, I'm going to use one div, that also has h1 that says let's make use of h2 instead so that we can have nest properly so this is second component okay so this is h2 so what we have here is h1 and h2 but i want to use the call for this header component from this app component. So I simply make use of header from app. Okay, so what will happen is if I don't use this, okay, so let me remove it, then my browser will only show me first component. Okay, if I want to call for this header, then I have to simply use this component declaration and it will automatically call second component from the first component's call. So I don't have to add one more components element here. So I simply one class app and call multiple components from itself. So you can have one navigation component with multiple options for the same, or you can have uh, home page components or header components with multiple components inside it. Okay, so this was a small demonstration on how you can make use of nested components in React.js. So let's go over all of this. What we have done is we created a class that extends react.component. Then use render method to return our first JSX through this, okay? 
Then we created another component with name header, extended React component, and returned this second component message. Now to call this component from our app component, I simply use this call for component using name of components within these starting and closing tags, and then simply use my first component tag in React DOM render. So that compiled these two components within the call. So this was simple short demo on nested components in React.js.